There is a new dupe in town and Bethesda has been updating us on a lot of different matters. There's also a fortune teller machine and outfit on the way. It's news time. Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to another Fallout 76 video. We are on a new spree this week, so many relevant things have emerged all of a sudden, plus Bethesda has been announcing so much stuff lately as well. If you missed my previous news, well, perk loadouts and custom worlds are part of the upcoming content, and later, update 25 is coming with lots of quality of life improvements, and some major changes for the daily ops rewards, for Fashna Day and even for the friendly fire perk. Anyway, if you think my voice is a bit off or strange today, well, it is. I got a throat ache right now, just to let you know. Anyway, for this video, I will go over the latest news regarding what's going on in the official servers, such as a new concerning duplication glitch, new Bethesda announcements, a few ongoing bugs, and even some new content related to fortune telling. All right, let's get started. The most problematic issue live in the official servers right now is the recently discovered duplication glitch, which can easily be done by one single player. I first learned about this new exploit during my livestream this past Wednesday, but soon after the news spread everywhere, you know, like butter. This exploit is now public knowledge, it's all over social media, YouTube, Discord servers and so on. Anyway, and as usual, I'm not going to tell you how it's done, I'm not trying to encourage cheating, I'm just creating awareness around the issue in order to get it fixed as soon as possible. Now, this new dupe only applies to armor and free cosmetics. How can I be sure about this if I didn't even try it myself? Well, that's because the exploit involves ally characters and what you can add to them or dress them with, which is exactly only armor and cosmetics. Now, it makes no sense to duplicate Atomic Shop cosmetics, since you can just craft as many as you want, so we can exclude that part. What makes sense though, and what people have been doing, is duplicating all sorts of unwielding secret service and recon armor pieces. Now you may say, but Marta, these are untradeable items, so why would people do that? Well guys, I hate to break it to you, but there is also a way or an exploit to trade such cold untradeable items. That's why and how third-party websites sell unwielding secret service for a long time and now recon armor as well to make thousands of in real life money with that sort of cheating. Anyway, the other concerning part is the duplication of rare cosmetics such as Fashna masks, especially the three new ones coming live next month. There is the Buffon, the Devil and the Brahmin masks coming live with Fashna this year, in case you missed my previous news and weren't aware of it yet. Moving forward, if this exploit is not fixed by then, the new masks will become common in a matter of days, sadly. They are supposed to be rare, so they are joining the rare list, but if this glitch is live when it comes, I don't think they will be rare for a long time. Anyway, region outfits and even the urban scout mask, which are extremely rare drops right now, are also being target of duplication, which means their rarity will go down substantially in the following weeks. Actually, if you start finding such outfits being sold more and more often, don't be surprised, it's totally normal. It's what always happens to the economy of the game when these dupe glitches come out and people abuse them to no end. As a result, rare items become common as more and more players can easily access them through trading. But the good news is that Bethesda is usually quick at fixing such duplication glitches, so let's hope they won't take too long to put an end to this one as well. Before we move any further into the news selection, I want to inform you about the missing Inside the Vault article. I saw a few people asking on social media about what happened to the Inside the Vault article this week. 
Well, it was cancelled for unknown reasons. It's actually very strange because they announced so many things this past week, you know, through social media, through Twitter, Reddit and such, including changes in the public test server. Anyhow, Bethesda decided not to publish any article or news for the second week of January. A community manager even mentioned their decision over her Twitter page. But don't worry, the articles should return back to their weekly schedule starting this next week. Alright, something else I want to report is about a few recent statements from Bethesda. They gave a quick interview to Game Rant, the link is in the video description below, by the way. Most things there are not exactly new, I have even covered all of it in the past week. They mostly talk about the upcoming changes, including Update 25, you know, the quality of life improvements, the stash increase, new inventory tabs, and so on. But what catched my attention there was a few select statements where Bethesda claims player feedback is crucial to them. In fact, they have been turning the game around by doing exactly that, by listening closely to what players want, such as adding NPCs, something everyone mostly wanted, ever since the game got released, fixing bugs and bringing content that most players want in general. They also acknowledge that Fallout 76 has been a letdown for a lot of players and their shortcoming in delivering the Fallout experience most of us were expecting and hoping for. Well, this is a really positive thing to read in my opinion. It means they are finally acknowledging their mistakes with 76 and hopefully they can learn and improve to avoid similar paths which will probably lead to similar results. Lastly, Game Rant concluded the interview by saying many players are hoping that, as Bethesda grows, they will still be able to support the Fallout and the Elder Scrolls online communities while not losing focus on the beloved franchises that draw fans in the first place. I really hope so too, because sometimes it feels like their focus is in monetization and everything else is kind of set apart into second plan, including the franchise integrity and common sense, really. Lately, I feel like Bethesda has been adding all sorts of strange items into 76 just to grab a few more atoms from players. For example, the latest addition in my view is the small water purifier prototype. It's like they run out of ideas and just throw whatever new items they can create into the shop just to generate more revenue. And that's a dangerous path in my opinion. Anyway, I could talk about this for hours, so let's proceed. Next, we have a brand new addition discovered by data miners. They found a fortune teller machine, as well as some fortune teller outfits, as to be expected. They are atomic shop items, and it seems like Bethesda is still working on the machine. It's not complete, and it's not yet known what it's supposed to do. There are rumors already this item will be able to boost your luck as a special item, like the weight lift for strength and the speed bag for agility except these items are free from the score system so let's wait and see what they do with his one but I'm not sure about the luck idea I think this is just a funny decor item right now according to the data miners it just animates which is already an indication that Bethesda is planning to turn it into a decor item but who knows maybe it will become something more in the end only time will tell, as I usually say. Now, following the same fortune teller team, there is also this not so common outfit with a long skirt, some sort of orb, and heels shoes. There is even a followed wiki page for this outfit already, so I think we can assume this outfit will go live very, very soon in the following weeks. As for the machine, I guess we have to wait to understand the real purpose of this new item. Something else you might not know yet, but you should, is about the new Fallout 76 subreddit created last week, if I'm not mistaken. This new section dedicated to 76 contains the most relevant and popular network links to help people learn more about the game. It's like a page with everything you kinda need sooner or later if you play 76 on a regular basis. 
There are lots of familiar names there, such as Nuka Crypt, the Fallout Wiki, Map76, which I totally recommend, by the way. I use them all the time, they are very reliable and useful. But there are many other resources in the list, as you can see, which can certainly be useful sooner or later, depending on what you do. If you want to check this new subreddit, the link is below the video as well. You are welcome. The next point is about a bug that is live for over a year. You guys often ask me in the comments if there are any news about when it's getting fixed. Well, I have spotted this quick update from Valseek, a community manager for Bethesda, where he reaffirmed this bug is not very easy to fix. They are still investigating what might be causing this bug, which kinda means they are not sure about the source of the problem. They know the fast travel feature is buggy, but they don't know what's causing it. That explains why they can fix it, why it's taking forever to resolve. I mean, it makes sense, right? They can't fix something they are not aware is broken. Either way, I know this is not exactly great news, but it's still an update. Bethesda is still actively trying to solve this one, so let's wish them luck. I think they really need it. Talking about bugs, there was an ongoing issue with the Fashnach collector which stopped collecting Fashnach donuts and sausages. I don't own this item, so I was not able to test it myself, but several data miners have already looked into the matter in the PTS and confirmed this bug is solved with update 25. So there you go. If you own this item, you can freely get these yummy yummy foods from your Fashna collector once the new patch goes live. Moving to more serious bugs, we have one that is live for at least a few months. It's related to the name item slots and how buggy they can get. Basically, sometimes it doesn't reset. Let's say you drop or sell an item with a name change. Well, you lose that item, as in it's not yours anymore, but the named slot is still occupied by that same item you no longer have. Recently, players asked Bethesda to look into it, because for update 25, the issue remains the same, nothing has been fixed in that regard. So everyone, make sure to change your custom names back to default whenever you wish to sell such items or drop them, to avoid triggering this bug. You are not able to change names if the system claims you have 20 slots being used already, when that might not be true. Just a word of advice here. Okay, now I want to talk about something I experienced a few days ago, which is exactly about clusters of items at event locations. In the footage, I came across over 10 ultrasite plants all close to each other around the prime fissure. Yep, displaying the item model on top of that, not inside the paper bag. So, this was not dropped by a player. This is also where people usually take down the Scorch Beast Queen. Now, as you may or may not know, each queen drops one or two ultracite plants per death, which means lots of queens had to die there for over 10 plants to be laying around in the same exact place. My first assumption was maybe some hacker dropped them there, it wouldn't be the first time, but after talking to the data miners, they pointed out it's just a despawn bug. Basically, there is a bug preventing the bodies and respective loot to disappear. The body may vanish correctly as intended, but the loot inside does not, so it causes these experiences where you see dozens of items around. It also happens at Fortifiance quite often due to the dozens of dead scorched from lying in the sand. I have seen this one months ago, so I can testify it is true, but overall it can happen anywhere else really. So if you come across such clusters of items, at least now you should know what's going on. Well, enough of bugs and issues for now. Don't forget about the ongoing mystery pick event. Yep, another one bites the dust. The Prevere sale is lasting for a few days. It started on January 14 and it's ending on the 18th. So there's not a lot of time left if you just learned about it now, but still. Well, to be honest with you, mysterious picks are kinda bad, but it depends on what you are trying to roll. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm trying to get legendary recon armor for example, so I'm always going for the 3 stars armor chests these days. Mystery picks makes my chances much inferior, so it's a really no-go for my needs. But you know, if you just want to use the event to farm random legendaries just to see if you get something decent or good to use, then enjoy the cheaper boxes right now. Lastly, let me inform you about Bethesda's weekly streams for 76. I feel like not a lot of people know about this yet, so here we go. Ever since 2021 started, Bethesda announced they intend to go live every week on Twitch, where two community managers play Fallout 76 every Wednesday and sometimes they even cheer first-hand news. Two weeks ago, for example, they announced that the public test servers were coming live very, very soon. They streamed on a Wednesday and then on the next Thursday, literally the next day, the PTS servers really went live. So it might be worth keeping an eye on their weekly streams just in case they talk about new features, upcoming changes, you know, that sort of breaking news we all like to know. The random bug for this news video is... Well, I shared the screenshot on my Twitter already. It's basically a loot bag that was labeled as the player. I assume it was the owner of that loot bag. But still, how weird is that? I had never seen such a bug before. Actually, I couldn't even check what was inside the loot bag. It kept showing me his name and the HP bar on the top. Should I say, hmm, what the perfect loot box, role-playing, it's just right on point. Well, it really is. Anyway, that's it for this video. As usual, I hope I could keep you up to date with everything Fallout 76. I am Marta Branco, make sure to leave a like to let YouTube know you enjoyed my content. If you did, as obvious, and maybe it's time to hit that subscribe button as well if you haven't yet. A special thanks to all my supporters, you guys are lovely and your help really matters. If you wish to become one, well, the links are right below the video. Now it's time to go, stay safe everyone and I will see you all very very soon in the next one. Until then, take care! Adios, bye bye!